All right, here we go. Question number 19 from our 0314, homework number five in my lab math, and the instructions say solve. So I don't know, looking at this problem, this may be my favorite rational equation to solve. There's just so much fun stuff going on here. Uh, the first thing I notice is that the first denominator is a standard trinomial. We're going to have to F it up. We're going to have to factor it up. And so if I read the signs, when I have a plus at the back, that means I have to look at the front, and that's what they both are. They're both going to be minus z and z to make z squared. And then I need numbers that multiply to make 8, that add and make 9. And that's going to be 8 and 1. Check me. Negative 8 times negative 1 makes a plus 8. Negative 8 plus negative 1 makes negative 9. So that is factored correctly. And then when I look at the last denominator, I notice that uh, that's a binomial with a common factor of 4. And so I can factor that also. I'm going to factor out the 4. And that's going to leave me z minus 1. So remember, when you're solving a rational equation, the first thing you have to do is factor any denominators that can be factored. And then you can go through and look for a common denominator. OK, now then I'm going to try to get all of these denominators to be identical. And the first thing I notice is that this very last fraction the denominator has a, has a factor of 4, which the first denominator does not have. And so the very first denominator needs the 4, okay? But whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Now, for the middle, uh, now let's go ahead and do the last one next, okay? For the last denominator, if I look at the first denominator and see what he has, he's got three factors. And the factor that is missing from the last denominator is the z minus 8. So he needs the z minus 8. If I give it to the bottom, i got to give it to the top. Now, what does the middle child need? The middle denominator has the z minus 8, but he is missing the 4 and the z minus 1. So he needs the 4 and the z minus 1. So the numerator gets a 4 and a z minus 1. And now if you go through and look at all the denominators, you're going to see that they are identical. I've got a 4, z minus 1, z minus 8. In the middle, I've got a 4, z minus 1, z minus 8. And in the back, I've got a 4, z minus 1, z minus 8. So remember, when all the denominators match, you can cancel them out. And so now I'm left with 6 times 4, which is 24, minus 4 times z minus 1. Remember, 1 times 4 is 4, and then times z minus 1. And then 1 times anything is itself, so z minus 8. And then the way that I've written this down here, I don't know if you noticed, but this there was a minus here. And by uh, taking this negative and attaching it directly to the 4, now when I distribute, I'm not going to mess up the signs. So that's going to give me 24 minus 4z. Negative times a negative makes a plus 4 equals z minus 8. I then need to combine like terms. 24 plus 4 is 28 equals z minus 8. Bring down my negative 4z, and that is positive. And then we're going to bring the z over this way and the 28 moving this way. And that's going to give me negative 4z minus z. That's going to be negative 28 minus 8. CLT, combine like terms. Okay. 
So we're going to have negative 5z equals negative 36. Divide both sides by negative 5. And we're going to get z is, let's see, negative over a negative makes a positive 36 fifths. And that will not reduce. And I believe it's okay to leave it improper. Yeah, look at this. Simplified fraction is okay. Uh, don't forget to check. Yeah, I could plug that in and check it. Uh, but since it doesn't make any denominator zero, it's probably correct. 36 fifths. And there you go. All right. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.